Hey, what's up folks? I'm going to show you how to make a ADT Pulse Z-Wave garage door opener using your existing bell wire and remote. No special wiring needed with any of these components. The only thing you're going to have to begin with is the relay which we are going to construct for the Z-Wave module. And please remember, you're going to be doing this all at your own risk. What you need to go do is pick up a 110 volt relay from Radio Shack. You need to wire the AC cord to the 7 and 8 terminals and some 20 gauge conductor wire to the 4 and 6 terminals. Make sure you've unplugged your garage door opener and pop open the uh, bell wire terminal. On this model garage door opener, the bell wire are the white and red wires that are wired up through the uh, ceiling to the uh, garage door opener near the uh, interior garage door that goes into the home. So what you're going to do is we're going to set our relay up here and wire it up here to the uh, bell wire in parallel. The way this setup works, it does not... Uh, affect any of the existing wiring or radio remotes. Here's a close-up of the uh, relay wired up to the bell wires of the garage door opener in parallel. So basically once that's hooked up everything's good to go up here. The relay is plugged into the Z-Wave side of the appliance module that's already been programmed to the ADT Pulse system. So now the Z-Wave module is connected to the ceiling receptacle. I have the garage door opener plugged in through the pass-through side of the Z-Wave appliance module. I have the relay plugged into the Z-Wave side of the appliance module and it's resting gently on top of the Garage door opener. Okay. All right. Next up, we're going to test the pre-existing wiring. Notice none of the wiring has changed. The previous uh, bell module still works. It always did. No problems there. And we're going to make sure the current remote still works. Oh, no problems there. Thunderbirds are go. All right. So here we are logged into the ADT Pulse app on an iPod Touch and we're going to go ahead and test it out. And voila. Everything's working. Our door is open. Let's go ahead and close the garage door. Now you notice while the Z-Wave module is on, the module that goes from the bell wire to the module that's close to the interior garage door is no longer functional. And so what we have to do is we have to turn the Z-Wave module switch off on the ADT Pulse app and it re-enables the functionality of the bell wire. And that's it. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the presentation of my ADT Pulse Z-Wave garage door opener. Take care.